guys, welcome back to my channel. I am actually filming this at the end of this video in real time, um, but I realized that I never filmed an actual introduction to this video. I just jumped straight in. So the first clips you'll see that I was going on a run. This was Thursday morning last week. And then that day we went to Tarifa and then the rest of the video is filmed in Gibraltar. Um, hopefully the rest of the video makes sense, but I just thought that I couldn't just jump straight in. I needed to intro it somehow. So. Hopefully you enjoy the video. It is of our adventures. So Tarifa and then going to Gibraltar. Honestly, had the absolute best weekend. I loved Gibraltar and it was, we did some very exciting things. Saw some dolphins, saw some monkeys. Um, so hopefully you enjoy watching that too. I think this is probably my favorite vlog so far. Um, I have edited all the rest of it and hopefully I'm gonna get it up today. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I did 10Ks. I got about halfway and realized that I could be on for a 10K PB. I don't think that I got it. I need to check. Guys, it was a PB by seven seconds, but I will absolutely take that. Yes, I am happy with that. Um, I was pushing the whole time because I think because I knew that I could be on the cusp of it. Um, I was like, oh, I'll be so annoyed at myself if I miss it by a little bit. Um, but yeah, I am super pleased. So now I'm gonna head back. We have got an exciting day today. We are going to Tarifa. So we're actually going to pick up the rental car, which is gonna be an interesting thing. Ben's never driven in like on the other side of the road before and I'm not the best person to drive. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Um, we're heading to Tarifa. So we have got an exciting day ahead. So I need to go and get freshened up, wash my hair for the first time in a long time because it's been in an oil mask for about a week now. Just on our way to pick up the rental car, we decided to walk it. Well, Ben basically just wanted us to step in. It's about a 45 minute walk and we have 20 minutes to go. I will make you love the I will we have picked up the car. We are on the way to Tarifa. Um, we got a bit of an upgrade, so we went well, we tried to hire a Fit 500 which is <laughs> what we have at home so that it wouldn't feel too different for Ben to drive. Um, but they didn't have it there at the time, so they gave us an upgrade to a... How do you pronounce this word? Citroen. 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 Not, uh, Citroen. not French. <laughs> <laughs> but is it French? Pretty sure, but yeah. we don't have to. Anyway, have so a bit snazzier than the... Sorry, gone bit snazzier than the Fiat 500, a bit more luxurious comfort for us, we're not used to it. The actual space at the back seat, lovely. Six gears as well. Six whole gears. I mean, Ben has done very well to drive, he's never driven um, on the other side of the road before. There is no way that I was even going to consider doing it, so it was down to him. But he's done very well. We are almost in Tarifa, I think we've got about 10 kilometres to go. Um, but yeah, there have been some nice views on the way, but I forgot to get the camera out until about two minutes ago. Um, is there anything else to update them on? No way. Gibraltar. So 
I can't remember when I last spoke, but I think it was when we were in the car on the way to Trulli Fry. I don't think I've spoken since then. Um, so we spent, it was probably only what, an hour and a half on the beach before Ben got hungry. So we had to go for food. Um, and we, yeah, we ended up going for food at a place called Patcha Mama's something. I did take a little clip there and they had the, what it was called on the water, um, which was quite cool. Food was nice, but it was a little bit slow service and there were a lot of flies that we were being attacked, attacked by. Um, but the food was nice and little birds, but that was your fault because Ben was feeding the birds so they kept coming back. Um, which everyone, that's a rookie error. Everyone knows not to do that. Your mum never tell you that? To what, not feed birds? No, not really. Oh. <laughs> Did your mum tell you to specifically not feed birds? Well, yeah, probably because then they come back. What? Hmm? Well, I don't think that was that just me. conversation, never, never feed birds. Well, like when you're I've eating. Never come across that when problem. you're eating, because then they just don't leave you alone. Like seagulls, if you've got fish and chips, right? No? Yeah, but seagulls are evil. These were little tiny. Yeah, birds. I mean, they were. Yeah, but they did keep coming back and it was a little bit annoying. Ben had a burger and I had a pizza, which was nice. And then we were going to go and walk around the actual like town of Tarifa, but we didn't in the end. We kind of drove to it and then it was already what, like six o'clock, something like that. Um, and I had a little bit of work to do once we got home. So we ended up just leaving, um, but it was, it was nice. Would, would you recommend Tarifa? If you're bored. If you're bored. It was a nice beach. Like, I think if we'd have gone more prepared just for a beach day, yeah. then it would have been nice. Because um, the sand is quite, like, golden -y. Um And after 800 oh. metres, take the exit. One the burger was nice, though. Yeah. That was, like, my, my pizza was fifth nice. burger of the trip. I think that, I think it was more take than your fifth. exit. Nancy! Yeah. I had a goat's cheese and sun-dried tomato and honey and it had walnuts on it. I don't think I've ever had walnuts on a pizza. I had a similar one when we were in Nice that was like, I think it was goat's cheese and honey but it was almonds and I feel that that did work better. The walnuts were a little bit too big and crunchy for my liking. Keep right. <sighs> anyway, um, so we're on the way to Gibraltar. I think I explained in the last video that Ben is playing in, do you need my assistance here? Uh -huh. Ben is playing in like a rugby sevens tournament and we were talking about how it's the most random possible thing he could do because, well firstly he's playing with people who he kind of knows through social media but oh, whoa, whoa, <sighs> car trying to pull out, um, that hasn't really, what well, you haven't ripped properly, oh Ben what are you doing? Oh, there's a lizard, oh my God. there's a leaf, <laughs> this is a shambles of a clip, what was I saying? Oh yes, you haven't really met them. We're also, like, they're people who have all been in Marbella as well, and yet the tournament is in Gibraltar. We've never been to Gibraltar. And Ben doesn't play rugby. When was the last time he played rugby? 400 meters, go left. 10 years ago, probably, like, yeah. Third, yeah, nine, yeah, ten. So he's more of a football, football player. But isn't uh, rugby, rugby, no offense to any rugby players, but rugby is like, it's just basic, isn't it? You just grab the ball, run, pass it backwards. Left on the Someone on Instagram told me to exit. just target the smallest guy. So it's, it's not like football. Football, you have to be skilled. Um, wow. And like, yeah. I mean. I mean, I'm joking though. Any, any rugby. <laughs> So I don't know if there'll be many rugby, rugby players, players watching. watching. <laughs> but, um, I mean, my advice is just don't get killed. Don't get beaten up because I don't want to have to go to a... Oh, I mean, we'll be in the UK to be fair, so I don't know what that means. Do they have the NHS in Gibraltar? I don't know. Do you think they do? No, it's probably a really stupid thing to say, isn't it? But it is the UK. End the vlog. <laughs> but anyway, he's playing in that today and then if it goes well today tomorrow but I mean your hopes aren't that high are they? We're kind of actually hoping that we'll have the whole day tomorrow to explore just us because obviously whilst he's playing I might go and watch for a bit I don't know I'll see what the vibe is and then I'll just entertain myself. Um, I've got a few recommendations from a girl called Ellie who lives in the area. 800 
And you might have to clarify this to me, but I think she is from Marbella or Gibraltar. I think her mum might be from Gibraltar, but she's lived in Marbella or near Marbella. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna entertain myself. We're here, here until we're well, gonna be in Gibraltar until Sunday, so I will show you whatever we get up to. Hello, it is very windy, so I'm hoping you are able to hear me. Um, so we've arrived in Gibraltar, we are at Europa Point, so this is where Ben's doing his um, rugby thing. And we just grabbed some lunch quickly at just the cafe here, and Ben's now gone to do his rugby, so I have been left to fend for myself. Um, as I said, it is super windy, so I'm not going to stay up here very long, but from here on a clear day, you can actually see across to Africa, but it's really quite... I don't know, cloudy? I guess cloudy is the word. It's not very clear. Um, so I don't think we'll be able to, but I'm just gonna take like a walk around, see what I can see, see if there are any nice views, take some photos, and I'll take some little clips as well so you can see. And then I think I can actually check into the Airbnb in 15 minutes and it's like a 20 minute walk away. So I think, oh my goodness, this wind. I think I'm going to head to the Airbnb because I really need to charge my phone. And I'm just thinking of being out on my own with a phone with no charge until about half seven or eight, which is when Ben's gonna finish, I think. And right now it is quarter to three, is probably not the best idea. So I will head to the Airbnb, charge my phone, get my bearings, and then go and just walk around a little bit. Ben said I'm not allowed to explore or adventure without him, but what am I supposed to do? So I'm gonna walk around just see what it's like um visit a few we've got like quite a few places on my list that i want to go so i'll just see any of them that are close that i can kind of get to i will so we drove in from over here so we're kind of like right at the top like the no not the top well like the south end of gibraltar that's where europa point is so we kind of drove you enter in like the north of gibraltar uh, across the border and then you drive we drove all the way to the top end which is where europa point is so where we are right now and it took like 10 minutes so to drive the whole look of gibraltar took about 10 minutes um but this is europa point so as i said from the other side you're meant to not the other side i think it's literally just over there you're meant to be able to see africa but i do not think you can today so yeah but it is very very windy annoyingly and not the clearest of days otherwise i think there'd be some really gorgeous views i mean obviously it's still very pretty but i do so believe that just over there is a wild ben is it yes i think it is you're not gonna be able to see him but you can see the rugby players right <laughs> they're just doing their little warm-up before they play that looks like a ben stance number one is it Oh god, no idea. Boys will just stand the same, don't they? Okay, so I'm walking to the Airbnb now. I'm having to walk through this tunnel. It's literally like under the rocks. I mean, this is kind of cool. Kind of scary, but kind of cool. Oh my god, it's so quiet when it's just me in here. I'm really hoping that no one comes and kills me in here because this is kind of scary and place to die. I'm literally the only pedestrian walking through. I mean, right now, obviously, as you can hear, there are no cars in here either, but a few cars have passed me. And I'm out the other side. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. It was actually quite a long little tunnel, but there is a lovely waterfall on the other side of this rock, so I thought I would show you, um, which is pretty cool. And that way out to the sea. made it to the apartment block. My phone is literally on 4% and I need it for the directions to get the key to get into the apartment. So fingers crossed, PS, I'm not this red at all. I don't know why the lighting is doing that in here. I promise, I've been wearing my sun cream. Okay guys, I have made it and I haven't been in yet. So let's go in. This is very exciting. Oh, I think I just buy a bottle of wine on the table. So we have got the bedroom. Lots of wardrobe space, not that we need it for two nights. And this is balcony number one. I wonder whether it's just open. Ooh, cute. Lovely little view out of here. Gorgeous. I do not know if that's something to sit on, but I may sit on it and have a coffee, unless the other balcony, because I'm pretty sure there are two, have somewhere better to sit. Let's head back inside. Okay, okay. 
full length mirror oh my goodness i have been missing a full length mirror there is not one in our airbnb in uh marbella what is this door who oh storage nothing interesting how sad oh another mirror hello oh god ace what you trying to tell me about my work my walk being over right ended that Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, such boob mirrors. Okay, I'm kind of in love with this place. And a shower, whoa. Okay, yes, yes, I'm pleased. Very pleased, you can see me from all angles, this is great. <gasps> oh, table, wine, bowls, everything set out. Kitchen, lots of space there. My goodness, this place is so nice. I kind of wish we were staying here longer. Lovely. What's that? Some crisps. Hmm, do I just eat these before Ben even gets here? Potentially, he'll never know. So far, TV, more storage, a fan, and out to the second balcony. Ooh. Ain't this lovely. Just over there is where I came from, I think. Europa Point, like right at the top there. Pretty sure I just walked all the way down from there. Um, it only took about 20 minutes, so that was not too bad, but lovely. I feel like they just need a chair out here on at least one of these two balconies. But either way, I will take this. How gorge. So, I need to, um, charge my phone that is the main reason that I actually came to the Airbnb now but it's also good just to know where it is for when we have the car so oh there's a bit of fluff on the lens sorry about that um we left the car well we left the car we drove the car to Europa Point which is where Ben's doing the rugby so the car is there right now so I walked to the Airbnb because I'm not insured to drive it and I would not want to drive it even if I was uh but we there's a car park space there's like a multi-story sort of underground garage for the Airbnb which is great but the instructions for it were a little bit confusing and I feel like if we'd have been driving here without even knowing where the Airbnb was in the first place it would have been quite tricky so actually super helpful that I came first. Do I just drink a bottle of wine? No, I'm kidding. But I may eat some crisps and I want to see if there is coffee. I feel like they're probably... <gasps> Ooh. Spaghetti? Marmite, how random. I feel like this is just like when people leave stuff, isn't it? But bingo. I mean, it's not like an espresso pod or anything, but... I will take that. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I am going to charge my phone um, and then see what time it is. And I'll probably go out and explore. So I think from here you can get to the actual like town center. If you go even further down more like towards the north and actually where you come into Gibraltar, so more from like where the airport is, is where Ocean Village is. And that's where there are cafes and restaurants and things. Um, yeah, I'll probably have a coffee here charge my phone, go out, just wander around a little bit, maybe get an ice cream or something. Yeah, I don't know. There are, I've got a few things on my list of things I want to do whilst we're here, but we shall see because yeah, I can't do too many things without Ben. So basically he, if they get through today, they'll be playing in finals tomorrow. And then there's something else, sun, no, there's nothing Sunday. So it's just finals tomorrow. Um, I mean, I don't think he's assuming that they're going to get into the final. So we're kind of hoping that we'll have the whole day tomorrow and Sundays. Um, yes, okay. I've literally been chatting for six and a half minutes. I am so sorry. I am going to get on with the coffee and the phone charging. Okay, so this clearly is not funny. and I don't know why I found it funny, but I made such a conscious effort to remember to bring the adapter. And we're in the UK. I mean, not complaining, but... I feel as though that's one of those situations where if I'd have thought to myself, oh, they're probably just the UK normal three plug charger things, then they wouldn't have been. Oh. Made it to the Botanical Gardens. I think up there is the rock. So there are cable cars going up and down this wire. Starts over there, I think. There. 
and then goes all the way up there. Lots of steps. Ooh, cute. So I'm just gonna have a wander around, entertain myself for a little bit. Um, I think Ben, it is half six. I think Ben's uh, got another game, so he played one already. He's playing three, I think. Ooh, cute. I love that sound. This is very cute. Anyway, um, he's played one and he's got two more. One at 6.30, one at 7.30. And then we're going to work out what to do, but I think he doesn't finish until like 8. So I'm sure by the time he actually gets to the place, it'll probably be like half 8. Um, so yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. I found a couple of places, but I just don't know if it'll be too late and we won't have reservations or anything. So we shall see. Oh look, we're definitely in the UK. There's a telephone box. I feel right at home. So I'm now into what I believe is the city centre. There is a Costa, so I really do feel at home. Got myself a little mint choc chip ice cream. Um, I've already eaten some of it, but I think she respected my solo adventuring and gave me pretty much two scoops for the price of one, so I will take that. Don't do it. Good evening. We had a lovely takeaway, but we didn't have it till about 10 p.m. I actually don't even know what time it is right now. On my phone, because I left my camera in the other room. It is 10 to 12, and I am shattered. Um, I've done about 20,000 steps. Also trained this morning, and that feels like an eternity ago. And yeah, I need to go to sleep. This bed is so comfy. I will catch up with you in the morning. Morning, there I am. Good morning, it is now Saturday. Um, ben has just headed off for, he actually does have two more rugby games today. Um, we thought that he only had them today if he was in the final and we knew he wouldn't be in the final. So we thought we might have the whole day, but he actually has two more um, to play this morning. I am gonna go and try and catch at least the second one, potentially the first, um, but he's just headed off. I'm just having a coffee, enjoying. The morning sunshine of Gibraltar, it is beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get ready and then I will head up to watch at least one of his games. The main two things that I really wanna do whilst we're here are the dolphin safari and go up to the top of the rock to see the monkeys. And with the top of the rock, the ticket that you buy, like the nature reserve pass, also gives you access to things like St. Michael's Cave. We have decided to do the Dolphin Safari and the Rock tomorrow when Ben definitely knows that he'll be free the whole day. Tomorrow's gonna be a really, really good day. But yeah, so I'm gonna have a little look on my phone, do a bit of research, see what we could do today that's sort of outside of those things. Find somewhere for dinner, um, have been recommended somewhere. So just gonna see if they have any tables. Okay, I'm ready. This is the fit, but I am in a major rush. Rush, rush, rush. Oh my God. I can't speak. How do I? So, I need to go. Decided to actually put some makeup on. I was gonna try and like curl my hair, but I got halfway and gave up and put it up. So, you know, a bit of a volume pony going on. Um, but yeah, I seriously need to go. So let's get it going. <laughs> Good afternoon. So it's been several hours. I, I filmed a tiny little bit whilst I was watching you play and yeah. before. Um, oh, that was dark. Sorry about that. Um, so <laughs> we've had a bit of a change to our day. Not a change, what's the word? Like a, an interruption. Um, ben basically got into a little bit of an accident during his rugby game, bashed heads with one of his own team members um, and has a, a bit of a cut on his head. Looked very dramatic when I first saw him because they basically put loads of Vaseline on it to stop it from bleeding and had blood dripping down his 
forehead and into his eyebrow. But he, he's all cleaned up now, he's fine. We don't think he has a concussion and we don't think he needs stitches, but keeping an eye on you, aren't we? But it is now four o'clock, so we've actually just been in the MV for a few hours, keeping an eye on him. Um, <laughs> but he hasn't actually been out and explored anywhere yet, so we are going to head out now. So we're back. Um, had a drink out, had a nice, very, very long walk. Coming back, and we have got a takeaway for dinner. Um, ben, because he couldn't wash his hair because the Vaseline in it, didn't want to go out to a restaurant. So having another takeaway. Um, we've got pizza, and then we have these Nutella donut things. There is actually a bottle of wine that we were given to. But I don't know whether we will be drinking it. Um, and actually, there are a couple of cold beers in the fridge and I might have one of these because that feels nice and refreshing. Sorry, this is very dark. We saw dolphins, it was very, very exciting. Hopefully I got some good videos and you can see um, we are now on our way to get the cable car to go up to the top of the rock to see the monkeys. Oh my goodness, this is a very exciting day. Need or attempt to touch them. Feel free to take photos, but please keep your distance. You should not take out or display any food or plastic bags as the monkeys will grab them. You should place rucksacks at your front to protect your belongings. We're at the top of the rock. Kind of scary, already seen about 10 monkeys. Ben has been told to put his backpack on its front. <laughs> monkey. Where's the monkey? The most likely black. <laughs> Mom, there's watch out, there's a monkey walking. Use a finger that's toe. I get ice cream. <laughs> Maybe afterwards. We have already have one though. The fourth one of the day. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Going into St. Michael's Cave. At the top of the rock. Beautiful views. Let's go in. It's very nice and cool. <gasps> Ooh. This is cool.
was a myth that Gibraltar was linked to Africa for a tunnel. Just a myth, or was it true? It's a myth. It's not true. <laughs> can't walk to Africa from Gibraltar. I don't know. You can see it. They've just turned all the colourful lights off, so you can actually see see the caveiness a little bit more. Ben. He's reading something. He's a reader. He likes learning. Whenever he gets something that he's interested in, he'll research it for about three days straight. Hi. Ooh, even this is scary. I don't need to go on the bridge bit. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I felt it move. I'm sorry. There's no running, but I kind of want to run. Stop. Oh my holy hell! Nope, nope, it's not for me. Ah, sorry. Stop talking. You're making it worse. It's so scary. Oh my god, I think my heart rate's at like 100 miles an hour. Wait, 100 beats. Are... Okay, sorry. Sorry, I feel scared of heights. That was pretty terrifying. I feel like you tried to jolt it at the end. Oh my gosh. Steady ground. Praise the Lord. Okay, now how much more of a walk do you think we have? Because I'm a little bit... Oh, I'm tired. Well, we've got to walk down, don't we? Yep. <sighs> Found yet another animal. This time, Ben's not quite as scared of it. Look at little kitty. Hi. Just lounging. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> How rude. She turned her back. No, she's coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, is it your friend? <laughs> oh, stop it. What's your name? <laughs> Good evening. We are now back in Marbella. We are back. In our airbnb and it's very weird because it actually does feel like returning home um, we had such a good day saw monkeys didn't had to do like a long walk back down from the monkeys to the car I ended up getting some dinner as well because it was about 7 p.m at that point um had a pizza again um and then drove back and it was all actually a really really easy drive so i'm going to close off the vlog here because i feel like it's going to have been a very long video um i'm hoping not too long i'm going to try and sit down and edit it now but hopefully you enjoyed keep your eyes peeled there will be one more vlog of us in Marbella so we're here for five more days so I will film the rest of the week and I will see you then